In this video, you will learn how to generate an Excel spreadsheet using GC Excel Java in a Java application. We will cover how to add features to the spreadsheet, such as tables, pivot tables, styles, conditional formatting, and charts. We will also use IntelliJ as the Java IDE to work with GC Excel Java. Adding a package in GC Excel Java is simple since the steps do not vary across Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. To learn how to license GC Excel Java, read the licensing topic shown here. You can download the latest GC Excel package from this link, or download other dependency jar files for PDF box, Java X.json, font box, and commons logging. To begin, open the IntelliJ IDE and create a new Java project by choosing the command line template. Under the SRC folder in Tree View, add a libs folder and copy the GCXL jar to the folder. Copy PDF box, Java x.json, font box, and commons logging jar files to the libs folder as well. Right click the libs folder and select the add as library option. Then press OK. In main.java, import the necessary namespaces. In the main function, add code to create a new GC Excel workbook. Prepare the data for the worksheet and arrange it in a 2D array. Get the first or zeroth worksheet in the workbook and set its name as table, since we will add a table to the worksheet using GC Excel. Then, set the 2D data added to a given range of the worksheet using the setValue method. Next, add labels and calculations for each range of data. Add a table and label it income on the range of data you added above and set its style. Add a second table labeled expenses to calculate the expenses. Each table will calculate the expenses and summary income. Set formulas to calculate the total monthly income, total monthly expenses, percentage of income spent, and balance. To set uniform row heights and column width, set a default row height and column width for the whole worksheet. Use iWorksheet.SetStandardHeight and iWorksheet.SetStandardWidth for all the row and column ranges. Set row height and column width for specific row and column ranges. You can set name styles over a range of cells that can be modified using desired properties. You can even create a custom style of your own. Apply your customized styles to specific ranges and turn off the grid lines for the worksheet. With GC Excel, it's possible to set individual style elements on specific ranges, set border and line colors on varying ranges of data. You can apply conditional formatting on a range depending on the condition being applied. In this example, the percentage of income spent will be shown through a data bar. At this point, save the workbook and run the application. Notice that gcxlfeatures.xlsx is created in your project. Open the file. The tables are now added to the spreadsheet in proper formatting. Let's add a pivot table to the spreadsheet. Start with adding a new worksheet and setting its name as pivot table. Prepare the data for the pivot table. The data is a list of orders for fruits and vegetables featuring the amount, date ordered, and customer's country. Set the data to the respective range. Now set up the pivot cache and pivot table. Configure the pivot table's fields, defining the category as row field, product as column field, amount as data field, and country as page field. Save the workbook and observe that the pivot table is now added to the spreadsheet. Let's learn how to add a chart to the spreadsheet. Before adding the chart, add a new sheet to hold it. Set the name as chart. A chart in Documents for Excel is essentially a shape object. To create a specific chart type, you first create a shape, then add a chart to it. 
The Add Chart parameters let you specify the chart type, the location, and size. Specify the location in points for the left and top positions, and for the size with width and height. Set the chart title. Define and set the range of data to display the chart. To adjust the data table's appearance and to format the numbers, you can apply formatting to specific ranges. Now, format the numbers on the chart's value axis. Save the file. You will see that the chart is now added to the third worksheet with the proper number formatting on the axis.